Hi, I'm Robert Selen, working for Community Advocacy here at MariaDB Foundation. With me, I have Kai Arne, our CEO. Hello, Kai. Hi, Robert. MariaDB 11.4 is packed with new features. I'm trying to wrap my head around what they all mean. I think you should. There's plenty of exciting stuff in, in 11.4. Well, next here, I'm looking at JSON. I know it's quite a, a, a modern format, a data format used by by developers, but as such, it wasn't originally compatible with a relational database, as I understand. But how has the support of JSON been involving for MariaDB? Yeah, so you know, I'd say JSON might be not considered all that modern any longer, but of course, compared to, uh, to relational databases, it is modern. And of course, theoretically, JSON has a structure which goes against the uh, third normal form or, or the basics of a relational database. But MariaDB is a very pragmatic database, and uh, we want to make life easy for practical issues, for pra solving practical problems. So like other uh, some other relational databases, we have JSON functionality. And that's something we've had for a long time. There has, however, been a number of mm, gaps. And I think we've filled now in this release some of the most important ones. Brilliant. So what kind of gaps have been uh, fixed this time? Yeah, so so it, it's um, when you store JSON objects in a database uh, and in, in specifically in a relational database, and I think you should. There's no need to 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 use a NoSQL database as such, just because you use JSON objects. You want to be able to navigate and uh, parse and and check and validate these JSON objects, and we. Uh, we follow the open source mantra release early, release often, which meant that that it was a somewhat incomplete first uh, uh, release uh, of, of it, and and it has been made more complete. And the specific ones here are listed in the 11.4 uh, knowledge base um, article about it, and and it's quite detailed. So I think the overview of it I already gave, uh, but you, I suppose you are interested in the details as well. Please. So um, the first one is is about uh, JSON underscore table. So it has existed for a long while. It can now, when you uh, iterate on these JSON objects, it can uh, it um, allows retrieval of the key, which is sort of a fu fairly fundamental thing, an important hole to fill. And it, it's been since eleven or two there, and the MDEV is yeah. Uh, uh, not the youngest one, MDEV 3014. MDEV is the uh, place where we keep track of, of our uh, roadmap. Then we have a set of new functions that are new to us, not new to the world, but new to MariaDB. And um, they have the name JSON Object Filter Keys, JSON Object to Array, and JSON Array Intersect. So I think it's fairly, uh, if we take the last one, for instance, J JSON Array Intersect, you do want to be able to process the intersection between two, two JSON uh, arrays. And the other uh, functions I mentioned also are stuff that, that, that we do uh, need to provide to our JSON user base. And if these are not enough, you can you can ask for more, and we can deliver more. We listen to our users, and what what's important to have in JSON support, we will deliver. We, for instance, also have the validation. This is a bit of a uh, an older one, MDEV two seven one two eight JSON uh, schema valid to to validate uh, a JSON schema according to a, a certain specification for it. So, so this means that you can. The overall meaning of this is that you can uh, create your JSON application much easier and, and in a more complete way in MariaDB 11.4 than you could in 10.11. Brilliant. Sounds really good. Thank you for an overview. of. Thank you, Robert. The MariaDB Foundation is the global contact point for collaboration on MariaDB server. Our work is made possible thanks to the support of our sponsors, 